now we're going to talk about psychological gesture, or sometimes known as PGs. I hate in acronyms because it devotes, I think, sort of a, a lazy way of thinking. So I will call them psychological gestures or the psychological gesture. So really, the psychological gesture is about the connection between number one, your instrument, and number two, your inner life. And that's really all it is. You do something with your instrument, your body, you give it a gesture, a shape or form, and that immediately, as we've heard before, begins to get number two moving. Feelings come, qualities come, desires come even, or wishes. So that's really what the psychological gesture is. So how do we start? We start with number one, and we determine from our possible first reading of the play, the first little itching of the character may come about. Don't be too intellectual. As soon as that little itching comes, an idea of the character, it'll want to come into your number one. It'll want to manifest because we're actors. That's what we do. We act things out in the world with our physical instrument. So that means that, for example, if the the character has, you think, oh, they're a very greedy person, that, or avaricious. On any level, simple greed, or someone who's a, a despot, um, a, a tyrant, for example. So let's just say the quality that comes to you is they're greedy, they want things, whatever it might be, a whole kingdom, yes, um, they want everything their own particular way, they, they're greedy for things. On, on whatever le level that may be. So greed drops in. So whatever you think that first gesture of greed is, do it, most important. For example, I would suggest, and this is my particular gesture of greed, would be going out and bringing something into you in a greedy, greedy way. Look at my thumbs, that's most important. Because if I bring them in like that, that's a sort of pulling towards me, but fingers open and rather tense in the knuckles, I go out and I pull things in, the pulling gesture, and notice exactly what happens to my face now. The top lip just tightens a bit, the eyes begin to glaze over or become hard. Immediately you've got something. That has to come right through the entire body, not just the arms, from, from toes to head, that gesture. I do that once and I get the strength of that gesture. For example, also you could say, what sort of gesture is it? For example, if I bring it here, I'm greedy in my head zone. I'm greedy for thoughts and information and I'm even curious and I want to eat in a greedy way all the facts and information I want about a particular subject. For example, if I bring it into my torso area, it is much more on a, not on an intellectual level, but on a basic feeling level. For example, I may be in love with someone and I really want to bring them into me, but in a possessive sort of way, I'll bring it into my heart region. That will affect number two immediately. And if I'm lustful, for example, I'll bring that gesture much lower down into the met metabolic, into the sexual organs area. So just on that level, it's terribly important to understand. What, 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 are, what are your legs doing? Are they expanded? Is one in front of the other? All those little details are so important. Look what happens to the angle of the head if I bring it into the torso and I drop my head and I look at you like that. That's very different as opposed to um, uh, bringing my head in a different way. For example, I bring it in and agree, now this is a very arrogant greed. Or if I drop my chin right down, this is a sullen greed. It makes such a difference. So what have we got? We've got the strength of the gesture, the gesture itself. Just do it and see what happens. Don't think about it too much. Next one is, what kind of gesture is it? What's my head doing? What's my feet doing? What are, what are my knees doing? 
All those things are very, very important. What it will then bring about is a wish, a desire for something of different sorts of things from a sullen desire to an arrogant desire. And then from that, we simply then go to how that gets my feeling, feeling life, my feelings, my emotions. I like feeling better because feelings we think are all good, but they can be very ugly and disastrous feelings as well, which are not particularly emotions. But um, that psychological gesture is how you get the character. Don't intellectualize the first tickle that comes and keep then refining that. And you'll notice all sorts of things coming to you. Your body will actually, your instrument will begin to do strange things. Maybe a shoulder is up on this greed. Very different. Maybe your chest is concaved as you bring it in. Different, different quality already. Maybe your chest is pulled out. Notice what happened to the head immediately. It rose, it got stronger. So, psychological gestures are very important, but there's only one aspect, there's only one way of creating a character. There's other means as well, other modes as well. And if the psychological gesture doesn't work, you can try something else. And we'll talk about that um, in our next episodes. <laughs>